So like I started off, my mama, like growing up, she just was putting me in everything. Like I did swimming, I did uh, tennis, I did basketball. Like for YMCA, I played basketball in elementary. I was like the best one on the team for the YMCA, but you know, them, you know what I mean? So, and then track came along I ran and I noticed too. I was good at track mm -hmm. and then I got into the hurdles. And then uh, in middle school, came along with came along and met this uh, USA track coach named Jackie Callender, and he he had put a number of athletes in the NFL or in the Olympics and stuff. So I started working with him, and that got me between track and football. That got me doing that, and so everything was going good. And then uh, yeah. That shit happened with like that situation that happened and I got expelled mm -hmm. and he was so mad at me and I was mad at myself, but I, I ain't think nothing of it. Mm -hmm. And then it just went down, kept going from there. And then he finally had to like sit and talk to me like, look, you got one more year. Uh, you got one more shot at this. Like you done set out your whole junior year doing dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? You got one more try. Cause once you leave high school, you're on your own. We can't do nothing for you. So. And what did you do specifically to get expelled, if you, if you could talk about it? <clears throat> so, like, me, I got into a little beef with a whole little group of people. Like, just a bunch of, it was a bunch of females. Like, just on some dumb shit, I was just trying to scam, you know what I'm saying? And they was just talking about how they was going to get all their people to come, you know, uh, come do me in and shit. So I was like, okay, bet. So I was in my uncle's house. And he had a BB gun. It was a gun. It, li it looked like a gun, but it was a BB gun. So I posted it on Facebook. And I was like, I think I probably said some shit like, play if you want to, and you're going to feel that shit. And then the next day I came to school, I'm talking about that, it was on the weekend. So the next day I came to school, that first day back, I, was, I get called in the office, and it had a police officer in there. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm like, maybe it's something I don't know. They had printed out messages of like me and all them going back and forth and shit. And then how they played it so raw, because you know back then you could delete messages and shit or whatever. They deleted some of the shit they said to make it seem like I was the one, you know, being violent to them. So mm. all the shit that I seen, they didn't see. When I tried to explain that to them, they didn't want to hear it because they felt like they had the proof right in front of them. So I was like, well, it's dead game trying to explain that shit to them. Mm -hmm. and so, so what you learn mm -hmm. from something like that? Like, if you can go back and do it over, how would you? You know, would you? Would you would have made that post? I mean, if I go, if I go back to do it, I probably wouldn't even argue with them. Cause like I said, I was just trying to scare them. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? To get them off my back, talking all that heat. Like I think I became. I think at that point, when I didn't have sports in my life, I started becoming a product of my environment. Like that's probably the first time I was feeling myself becoming a product of my environment because I used to get called like a bullshit and a liar and shit and a stealer. And then like I'll be telling people like, nah, it's not it. Like that's not me. And then you when you try to tell people the truth, they still see you as that old you. So I just started becoming like, okay, if that's what they want me to be, then that's what I'm going to be. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when all that started just going in. And that, that was a, that was that point to where it was like a, I didn't give a fuck type me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's easy to slip into that black hole, bro. Like when you feel like it's just you didn't reach that breaking point, and I know yeah. I know how that feel, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? And, Cause and, it's like they blame you for so long, and it's like you trying to tell them there's something different, and then it's not. It's like you, okay, that's what y'all want me to be. be. Fuck it, that's what I'm gonna be. And that's exactly, bro. I understand where you're coming from. You know, one hundred percent.